Hi guys, we're gonna learn something new today. So remember when I said we had to learn how to take away from a whole number using number bonds and turning it into fractions because later we would need it when we need, had to borrow when subtracting fractions from whole numbers? Well, this is the lesson where we're going to do that. So as you can see in A, I have a whole number three minus one tenth. So what I want to do is just take away one whole from three. So if I take one away from three, then I have two holes left, right? And then I wanna show my one hole and I wanna use the same denominator as this. I wanna make a fraction that's equal to one hole, but use the same denominator I already have because I wanna be able to subtract and I can't subtract unless the denominators are the same. So I did three minus one is two and that one, I wanna make it a fraction Well, one hole as a fraction, keeping the same denominator would be 10 over 10. So I have two holes and 10 tenths, and I'm going to subtract 1 tenth. So I'm going to subtract my fractions first. So I have 10 tenths minus 1 tenth. That's going to give me 9 tenths. And I have two holes. I'm just going to put that right next to it because remember when we have a plus in between, we could just take that plus out and put it together. So I have a final answer of two holes and nine tenths. All right, let's look at another one. So down here, I have six holes minus five eighths. Well, I want to take out one hole. If I take out one hole, I have six minus one is gonna have five holes left over. And that one hole that I took out, I wanna write it as a fraction. I wanna keep this denominator that's in the other fraction though. So I have eighths here, so I wanna have eighths here. Well, one hole would be eight out of eight. So six turns into five and eight eighths. Now I can subtract my five eighths. So I'm gonna do my fractions. I have eight eighths minus five eighths. Well, eight minus five is three, denominator stays the same, eight. And then I just bring down my five, because remember, just pretend you're taking out the plus sign when you have that there. So I have five and three eighths is my answer. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. So I have eight holes minus six tenths. I wanna get a fraction of one hole out of eight. So basically I'm borrowing, like when we do our whole numbers, like long digit multiplication, sometimes we have to borrow, that's exactly what we're doing. So I'm gonna borrow from this eight, I'm gonna take away one, and I have seven left over. And that one whole that I took away, I wanna turn it into a fraction. And I want this fraction to have the same denominator as that so that I can subtract easily. So I'm gonna have it tenths, one whole is 10 out of 10. So eight turns into seven and 10 tenths. Then I can subtract my six tenths. So I'm gonna do my fractions first. I have 10 tenths minus six tenths. Well, 10 minus six is four. My denominator stays the same. And then I just bring the seven down. So my answer is seven and four tenths. Okay, 